Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so in today's test out journey, what we are working on is we will analyze a DHCP spoofing on path attack, as you can see. Um, so let's get with it. Um, first we start off with the IT laptop, as you can see, we're already there, so let's pull up other path. Snap. Okay, now we want this because we're going to do some spoofing. And let's just copy this. And it automatically does it, so Control V. Control V once again, click OK, and then it also tells us to view the IP address, so let's open the terminal and type IP ADDR, show, and hit enter, and as we can see, there it goes. So let's answer question one. And maybe one and two dot one six eight dot zero dot forty six. And it may be different on your simulation. They like to switch it up on us just to keep us on our toes, as you can tell. <laughs> So next off, we're working in the support. So let's go over to support. Ta-da! And what we want to do is open Wireshark. Ta-da-da! And let's click on our little brand right there. And we want to type in load P. Enter. Nothing there. Bah humbug, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do now is go over to the terminal and type out. Okay. And we will answer this question with the current default gateway. As you can see, it's 192.168.0.5. Like I said, on your scenarios, it may be different. Okay, so we got that one. Okay, so now we need to switch things up just a tad bit. We are going to scroll down so I don't get mixed up with what I'm doing. <laughs> So, IP link, set, IP two F zero, and down. And I'm just using an arrow, and I will type up, enter. Now let's go and see if we had any changes over here. Obviously, it looks like we got some packages, so 
one here, one here. Now we want to look at so let's go to the protocol and router. random questions. Okay, it wants to know the default gateway for support with question number three. And I believe that one was 46 for the default when we looked at it. Um, let's minimize this. Okay. Router. Yeah. What's the default one? Boom. So let's answer questions for this next one. Get it out of the way. It's 46 and 5. Okay, we got that one question taken care of, so let's move on to the next. Okay, so it looks like we're going to start working in Office 1. Let's minimize this. One. And this is a Windows system, so right click and go to Power Shell. Let's go up here and just type in IP config. And then we are going to answer question number five. What's the default? It's five. As you can see. Okay, minimize. So next thing we want to do, TRA. See, ah, not even on the window. And I am KSLFMOS.com. Hit enter. And as you can see from the Question and asks us it is going to be five again. So okay, let's renew the IP address. So we will do this over here. IP come. Big space release and enter. And that pretty much just clears us out. And then info IP config. Now. 
enter. And what do you know? So now we need to answer the next question, which is room six. And it did change, so what we want to do right now is trace our teeth on ksupplies.com. There we go. Oh, I hate when it does this. Okay, so I have to go back into office one again, and it's not letting me do it. Okay, here we go. So let's talk in our case of eyes. Enter. Go all the way down to the employee login and this is going to be our username control V password log in Bada boom, bada bang. And this one is going to be 46 as well. And so now let's go back over to Addercap. And that's going to be on the IT laptop. And see if we can find the password. Oops. Yep. See, and that tells us what the password is. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks once again 